Hi everyone, this is a technical analysis on USD CAD. Let's start with some fundamental background first. In the US, the Fed left interest rates on changes expected at the last meeting with basically no change to the statement. Fetcher Powell stressed once again that they are proceeding carefully as the full effects of policy tightening have yet to be felt. The US core PC last week came in line with forecasts with the disinflationary progress continuing steady. The labor market continues to show weakness as continuing claims are now rising at a fast pace with the last NFP report missing across the board. And this week, job openings and ADP came below forecast, although the jobless claims were better than expected. The SM manufacturing PMI last week missed expectations falling further into contraction, while the SM services PMI beat forecast holding on in expansion. The hawkish Fed members recently shifted their stance to a more neutral position. And the market expects the Fed to start cutting rates as soon as Q1 2024. In Canada, the BOC kept the interest rate steady at 5% as expected, with the usual caveat that it's prepared to raise the policy rate further if needed. BOC Governor Macklem recently has been leaning on a more neutral side as inflation continues to abate. The recent Canadian CPI missed expectations across the board and the underlying inflation measures eased which was a welcome development for the BOC. On the labor market side, the latest report beat expectations, although the unemployment rate ticked higher again. The market expects the BOC to start cutting rates in Q2 2024. Now on the daily chart, we can see that USD CAD pulled back into the downward trend line here, where we have also the confluence with the 50% Fibonacci retracement level and the red 21 moving average. This is where the sellers are likely to pile in with a defined risk about the trend line, to position for another drop into the swing low at 133.82. The buyers, on the other hand, will want to see the price breaking higher to invalidate the bearish setup and position for a rally into the highs. On the 4 hour chart, we can see more closely the bearish setup around this trend line, where there's also the resistance defined by this major swing low and around psychological level at 136 handle. What happens around this resistance zone will likely decide where the pair will head next, as a strong rejection should lead to new lows, while a break to the upside is likely to trigger a rally into the previous highs. On the one hour chart, we can see that the latest leg higher here diverged with the MACD, which is generally a sign of weakening momentum, often followed by pullbacks or reversals. In this case, it might be another bearish confluence for the sellers, as it's happening right at the key resistance. The sellers are laid by lean here at the resistance with a defined risk above it, and if the price was to revisit this level again, we can expect even more sellers stepping in. If the price falls and breaks this recent higher low at 135.50, the sellers are likely to increase the bearish bets as the market structure on this time frame will switch to a downtrend again. Today, all eyes will be on the US NFP report, as it could increase the amount of rate cuts expected in 2024 or reverse some of them.